Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm gonna show you a front kitchen destination RV. This is the 2023 Cottage 40 CFK2. And there is a lot going on that I like about this. It's made by Cedar Creek, well-known, well-respected, you know, brand in general in the RV industry. But if you guys are curious about the specifications, things like length, weight, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that you can find down in the description of this video. But if you guys dig my style, like my RV content, you know, take the time to hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And then also, as always, I am in a sales position here at RV Nation. Uh, so I would love to hear from you. If you're curious on pricing, send me a text or an email and I'd love to talk to you. Uh, but we're gonna jump right onto the interior, but it's the 2023 Cottage 40 CFK2. And if you're like me, you know, the front kitchens or the rear kitchens, they're one of my favorite setups, but this also has a lot more features, you know, to offer. And I'll get more into these, but you got a bedroom with a king bed setup. You also have a wardrobe uh, that has the ability for a washer and dryer. Got the bathroom with the dual vanities, tons of space. But we're gonna start up in the front today. And this thing has the absolute wow factor to me. You know, this is gonna be primarily a couple's coach, but it features some really large, you know, kind of room to move around. You also get some extra sleeping with the sofa right here, which is going to pull out to make a full size bed, butt up right up against that newly constructed Island kitchen. So on the Island, a couple things have changed for the 2023s. If you haven't seen my videos, solid surface countertops, by the way, baby, if you're watching, I love you a little bit wider than the 2022s, a heck of a lot lighter in general. They went away with the dark tones, started introducing this light, bright, more modern look. But you get some LED lights, little decorative insert there on the side. But you get this pretty cool, you know, little bar top right there with the legs that you can kick out to hold it up. So really cool for like a breakfast nook or if you're entertaining. You know, I'd imagine a lot of really good stuff going on with that. You're also going to see USB and universal C charger two outlets, and then right down here is the opening for your central vac system. The other thing that I notice is you have ton, a ton of moving around space, you know, walking around space in those rainy days. This thing is definitely not cramped up due to those dual opposing slides. TV, oven, refrigerator on this one, and then kind of your seating slide over here. And this is where, we're, where we will begin. Thomas Payne Furniture, this is in the Livingston color. You can also get it in a darker, so if the light tones don't do it for you or if it's too light, you can definitely order it with a darker tone for sure. Power recliners, and they're the kind of recliners that lay back really nice and flat. So if you're more of a you know, recliner sleeping kind of person versus a sofa, you can definitely take a snooze in there, no problem. You also got these pretty cool little decorative you know, pillows right there. Shout out to my boy Lincoln, RIP, passed away a couple years ago. One of the best wiener dogs a man could ever have. Hopefully he's up there chewing on some deer antlers. But extend and retract with a USB port. There's also another USB port here on this side. Two stainless steel cup holders. And a little place for your TV remotes. One thing that I enjoy about Destination RVs in general is these things are so tall. They're so high. And it lets you get absolutely massive features. So I'm six feet tall for reference. You know, I'm probably saying that slide is probably... I don't know, 6'9", six, 6'10", six, somewhere around there. You'll also see above all the slides, the LED lights and absolutely massive windows, all of which open up for a nice cross breeze and they are all tinted. Plus they come with, you know, the day shade to block out a little bit of the sun and then a night shade to go full Dracula mode and block out all the sun. Two more charging ports right here along with your light switches. So again, Universal C and USB. That's going to be a theme throughout the entire camper. Tons of charging outlets. You also have a table, which is going to be a sitting place for four to sit down, play some cards, have some breakfast, have a good time. There's also this little leaflet right here, uh, which is snapped in. Let me see that. Right there. Pull that out and pop it up. And it just extends it out just a little bit more so you have a little bit more room. You'll also see an outlet right under there as well. Little clicker light there above with the fancy looking little metal. 
This is going to be the screen, so it's in travel mode. You know, once we sell and it gets to its destination, we'll put that screen right up there on that big old sliding glass door. Oh, I forgot to show you, above the island too. You get that fancy looking little prism, you know, thing right there. It's looking pretty sharp. I like that. Front kitchen setup again, and what I like about the cottage is in the front, you're going to find you get these, you know, absolutely massive bay windows. So three big old windows, day and night shades, three lights to pair up for it if you're a little OCD. You're also going to have more cell phone connections, outlet and outlet, a ton of countertop space. Again, solid surface countertops. Your dual, uh, your double bowl stainless steel undermount right here with your high rise faucet. And then you'll see on there, it's got a couple different jet modes. You know, I guess that's like kind of pressure washer and then kind of like shower mode, I guess I'd say, but you know, you can hit those dishes from all angles. You're also going to get a ton of storage, not only here, but you also get a little bit there on the sides. So the side ones are going to be looking like this on both. And then on the left side, you're only going to get two of the drawers. On the right side, you're going to get three, two of which are going to be kind of these, these like super sized ones right there. So you can definitely put a ton, you know, in there. I'd probably make this one, you know, the drunk drawer or for, you know, your silverware, but you're also going to notice they're on the soft close. Underneath, since you get kind of that, you know, kind of V top, whatever you want to call that, a ton of under the sink storage with access to your plumbing. Swing it around, refrigerator, oven, and the new Murphy pantry for 2022 that folds out for a ton of extra space. You know, it's really nice there. Let me show you what the fridge is looking like. Got this safety latch. And if you guys have made it this far, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, I'd greatly appreciate it. But check out all that room for your refrigerator. You know, this is more meant for, you know, parking it up at the lakeside, you know, or something like that. And this will get you the freedom to have, you know, a week's worth of food. Absolutely no problem. Really enjoy that time away from home. You're also going to get an ice maker, which you'll see right there. But this refrigerator is nicer than the one I got at my house. Storage up above, and you'll notice the hinges are holding that up. So that's just kind of a nicer finish that you're going to get really across all cottages and all Cedar Creek lines. Back to the island, since it does not have the sink built into the island like most floor plans, you're going to find you get a lot more storage. So you're going to get that. Underneath where there would usually be plumbing, you know, now it's just really nice, useful uh, storage space. The front end of that central vac system, which you also have access to on that side, which I showed you. And then you're going to get three of these. And then again, all of them are going to be on that soft close. This company is using the Insignia oven, which is the industry's largest oven. So I love that. You get your four stovetop burners so you guys can have, you know, a full normal meal like you would have at your home. And then this oven, you know, if it's like Thanksgiving or something, you could literally cook a turkey in this, you know, absolutely no problem. Solid surface countertops on both sides of that. New backsplash looking sharp for the 2023s. And you're going to get outlet and outlet and then storage up and around the microwave. So that will be the same both left and right. And then the insignia, you know, microwave, open that up for you. Not too much to talk about that. You know, most of us, if not all of us, know exactly what a microwave is. Due to the insanely high slides, the extra space, it affords you a Murphy pantry back here. So you just simply just open it up and, you know, you can put your stowaway items, you know, or pack rat a bunch of food, some linen, some towels, you know, whatever you don't want to, you know, kind of have, you know, open and out in the area. Ugh, fumbling my words a little bit today. You get an outlet right back here, your cable hookups in that back corner, and then some maintenance to some of your electrical items will be found right there. You also get another outlet. And then I'd probably put, you know, all my books and like magazines and stuff like that right behind here. But really good, useful, um, you know, area for sure. I definitely love that feature. A little safety latch for all your traveling so it doesn't fly open on you and all your stuff flies around. You get a thinner 
fireplace than years past, but it has the same output, 5,100 BTUs of heat. And in a camper this size, it'll heat up the entirety of this room, you know, absolutely no problem. You're also gonna see you get the countertop space right there for maybe some remotes. And then a big old Insignia TV that's on a, uh, on a bracket that you can kind of move around, whether you're sitting down at the couch or sitting down at the recliners, you know, you're good to go without cricking your neck. So back to this sofa, again, it is a pullout and it's gonna come right to about here, makes a full size bed, outlet, and an emergency exit window. So you pull, push, and pop on those red pens. You can get out of here in a hurry. And then you have a little bit of overhead storage as well with kind of that you know textured you know glass finish that's just a little added touch to it. Max Air fan controls, which will be located right here next to the, you know, the actual fan. <laughs> RV Comfort, this is gonna be your thermostat, and then the switch for your fan. This is gonna be the sliding glass doors. Still gotta put the blinds up and apply the uh, screen door. Bathroom, I'm a huge fan of. What's going on? Show you off that bowling arm. Do bowling every Tuesday, freaking love it. But check out all the space in there. I mean, I am a bigger fella, but I'll just show you. You know, sitting down here on the old porcelain throne, I got plenty of space. I'm moving around, moving and grooving. You know, not feeling cramped up or have my shoulders you know, bucking and banging anything. Dual sinks, I love that. It's also gonna be on kind of that slanted finish. So they say that it's kind of like splash proofing it. Uh, two different mirrors, outlet, towel holders. And then you got these little octopus fellas as well for you. Uh, but a ton of storage. So not only do you get those little nooks, but you're gonna see you get three of these little cabinets. You get the top one right there. And then the bottom two are gonna be just a little bit larger. Move into the shower, really, really nice size shower. You also get the Tri-Glide Glass Series, which I usually put over on this side, uh, but it allows this, this opening to open just a little bit more. So Tri-Glide, meaning just three of them, uh, just again, makes a bigger opening. And then one of the fancier uh, shower heads that you know I'll ever see, probably in my life period, whether it's an RV or in my home, but you got four spouts. You have one right here, a little hand wand, and then two of that for sure. If I wouldn't get fired, I'd probably jump up in there and fire that bad boy up. A little more space again, you know, for some of the some of the towels and whatnot. And then your Max Air fan control, you know, and your lighting controls. The Max Air fan here is going to be just above you, help suck out the steam or the stink. And that brings us to the bedroom which right when you walk in, uh, this door right here, this is gonna be your control panel for the camper. So it'll help you control your slides, your awning, water pump, tank heaters. This is gonna be an extended three seasons camper. So those tank heaters definitely take into play when it's a little bit colder, pop it on when it's below freezing. And then you can check all of your tank levels right here. So, you know, black tank, gray one, gray two, fresh, battery, you know, all that good stuff, all controlled from one spot. Little safety, uh, latch there when you're climbing back down the stairs your cadet wall heater which is another form of electric heat to pair up with that fireplace so you know if it's 40 degrees between this and the fireplace that's really all the heat that you're going to need for sure bedroom huge open window out the back i hope you guys have a good view it does open up for a nice cross breeze like i mentioned before you get the king bed now this one was ordered with the shawl carpet with the rebound, uh, but you can order it without carpet and just have linoleum ran through the entirety of the camper. You know, that's kind of a, a personal taste thing for sure. Under storage, you're also gonna get the steps which go in front of the, uh, go in front of those sliding doors. And then on the bedroom, you see those little glowing dots, there's gonna be another universal C and USB. So here and here, both those side windows do open up again for a breeze. And then you got a little nook right there, you know, for some extra storage. You're also gonna have another outlet right here, another outlet right there, a ceiling fan above us with one of the two ACs. You got the dump valves open. If you're not familiar with that, basically when those are open, it disproportionately pushes all that cool air right into this room. Uh, if you decide to close them up, it runs it back through the track a lot more evenly, you know, kind of cooling down the camper, you know, at more even pace massive, massive wardrobe. And whether you're using it for your hanging items or some stowaway stuff, 
you, know, you do have the ability to put a stackable, fully stackable washer and dryer like one at your home with the hot and cold water access, you know, and the appropriate outlets as well. Let me get that light on. Pretty darn neat. Above the bed, you got that little nook with more chargers. And then this is going to be the same both left and right, just like that. Across from the bed, you'll see you got yourself a TV. You got more space if you want a larger TV outlet for you, and then a big old dresser. And what I like about this too is you have the ability to lift it up and maybe hide some of your more valuable items, you know, when you're not in there, whether it's, uh, you know, jewelry or a gun or something like that. You know, it's a little bit more uh, secluded there. But two drawers looking like this. And then all the other drawers are going to be, you know, much larger for more space. And then you got two more of those big drawers right there. Place for some hanging items. And it also has the little hooks right there for the hanging items. And then you got your King Wi-Fi Connect. Uh, so it's all prepped up. All you got to do is call like AT&T, Verizon, you know, your cell phone carrier. And you can get 5G uh, LTE or 4G LTE, you know, in the camper. Uh, more people are you know, working on the road. So that's getting a little bit more important. But I think that's about it for the inside portion of the tour. Again, it's a 2023 Cottage 40 CFK2. And if you guys are liking the style, hit that like and subscribe button for me. And again, I do sell these. So, you know, I'd love to talk to you if you are interested in buying. I work for a dealership that allows me to sell these at some really great prices. And I've been doing this for 10 years. So I do think, you know, I can help you out better than most for sure. But now let's go around the outside. I'll show you where some things are located. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get skedaddling. Cooking some dinner with the old, uh, the old wife ski tonight. We're celebrating. Both of, the, uh, both of the boys were in wrestling this weekend. Both kicked some serious butts. So we're doing peanut butter and jelly burgers. It's basically peanut butter and jelly on each bun. And then some jalapenos. And they seem to love it. All right. Specifications like the awning size. Down in the description. Uh, you'll find that there, but you got an absolutely massive awning. I'm going to guess probably around 18 feet, somewhere around that. You also have the LED lights running underneath all tinted windows. You do have the option to put slide toppers on this unit. So essentially what a slide topper is, it goes from here to here. It's a piece of awning and it blocks debris from falling on top of your camper. So like pine needles, tree branches, all that good stuff. It's just a way to kind of pay to get up on pay to not have to get on top of this camper and do some extra maintenance when you're closing those slides. You can also apply those over to here. So if you did them in total, you're looking at 2,100 bucks, $700 a piece. Right under here is gonna be your fresh water drain and your low point drains. There's your sewer outlet connection. It also shows off that underbelly construction right there. So forced heated air will go under there along with the tank holders, you know, making it for, or tank heaters, I'm sorry, making it a little bit more of a, you know, four season camper, extended three season for sure. City water connection, fresh water connection and your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. That's where you're gonna plug in your 50 amp cord. Your water heater right there, and as you can see, it is much, much bigger than average for sure. Since this is a destination, it has a more a bit of a, you know, kind of a living application to it. Dual axle, a place to plug in, and that's on there. Place to plug in, you know, your living room satellite cable and your bedroom satellite. Sewer outlet connection is going to be right there as well for both of your tanks. Another low point drain, and then your galley tank is going to be right under there. Hydraulic pump access. So for some reason you need to get under there, your hydraulic pump is gonna be right here. That's gonna be the manufacturer sticker. 10,184 pounds dry. So this is not a small RV by any means. Another thing that I like about it is a lot of people like to grill outside. And if you don't have an LP Quick Connect, you know, how are you gonna access the, uh, the oversized 30 gallon you know, propane tank? So right here, they went ahead and put in that Y. So that way you can set up a grill out here, you know, and kind of enjoy uh, the camp life. But all right, guys, again, it was the 2023 Cottage 40 CFK2. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to see you around next time for some other videos. My name is Hunter. Have a wonderful evening. See ya.